My name is Shaf Kashafji and I'm the Surgeon in Chief at UHN. I would like to welcome you to the Postgraduate Education Program in the Sprott Department of Surgery. My name is Dr. George Oriopoulos and I'm a vascular surgeon. Welcome. We're excited to have you start your educational rotation with us at the UHN over the next year. Here's what you need to know. The University Health Network, or UHN, is home to one of the largest surgical programs in Canada affiliated with the University of Toronto. UHN itself is comprised of three hospitals and two institutes, which together form Canada's largest research hospital. Dr. Shaf Kashabji, UHN Surgeon-in-Chief, leads the Sprott Department of Surgery. Dr. Carol Ann Moulton and Dr. Fayez Qureshi are operating room medical directors for Toronto General and Toronto Western Hospital, respectively. The Toronto General Hospital is home to more than 9,000 operative cases per year, performed in 21 operating rooms. UHN strives to deliver exemplary patient care, research, and education. Our clinical service load is both high in volume of cases and in their complexity. We strive to balance the different learning styles and competing needs of our trainees. At the same time, we work to manage the high expectations of learners, educators, and most importantly, our patients and families. Each surgical division has its own educational site lead. This individual and the rest of the faculty are responsible for the educational experience of our residents and fellows rotating across different surgical divisions. A key element of my role as Postgraduate Surgery Education Program Director is to meet regularly with chief residents from all divisions to share your successes, understand your concerns, and support your educational journey. The CanMeds framework of medical competencies is a great tool to help describe your educational journey with us. It contains these six medical competencies. The scholar role involves performing research, making formal presentations at rounds, and teaching junior trainees, including medical students. Residents receive teaching effectiveness scores through the Postgraduate Medical Education Office based on evaluation from more junior trainees. When evaluating others, strive to provide formative feedback to help improve performance across the board. Often we learn the most from a trainee who is one level above our own. Teaching awards are given at the resident level a worthy accomplishment for your CV. As part of your formal education, attendance at your residency program academic half days and divisional as well as departmental rounds is mandatory. Senior residents are expected to lead a surgical team, prepare on call schedules that comply with the Pero KO contract, prepare and publish a weekly plan of the service activities for all residents and fellows. University of Toronto medical students in their third and fourth years are called clinical clerks and must take call when rotated on surgical services. The maximum on-call frequency for these students is one in four nights. A student must leave the hospital within 23 hours of continuous on-call duty. The average hours per day a student spends in required clinical and didactic experiences must not exceed 12 hours on a regular working day when the student is not on-call or post-call. While on service, you may also encounter other learners, including observers from different countries or training origins. These observers must not have any direct patient contact. University of Toronto medical students in their first or second year are pre-clerks. They may shadow a supervising staff surgeon in clinic or the operating room. For pre-clerks, patient contact is at the discretion of their faculty supervisor. Surgical training takes many years and may be taxing for even the strongest of trainees. Always look out for each other and your patients. Your educational site leads, hospital division chiefs, OR medical directors, and chiefs of surgery are here for you. My door is also always open. 
we encourage you to contact us early when a concern arises. Residents may also seek support from the Office of Resident Wellness at the Postgraduate Medical Education Office at the University of Toronto. Recognizing and respecting the contributions others make to the care of your patients is important throughout your training. This includes services provided by consulting teams, emergency department staff, nursing, and allied health professionals. Together, these teams provide integrated patient care in a collaborative environment for some of the most complex and demanding cases. Communicate frequently and clearly. You will likely be dictating consultation and follow-up notes in the clinic, emergency department, as well as operative reports. The UHN patient portal allows patients to access their own medical records online. Always ensure that your written communications meet the highest standard. This will help avoid misinterpretation by patients, their families, and facilitate patient care by the entire healthcare team. Faculty are expected to behave as appropriate role models for all levels of trainees and be available for professional guidance. We aim to provide a safe and comfortable environment for your on-call duties. Contact your divisional educational site lead or myself to report any deficiencies in the call rooms. Do not leave valuables in the on-call rooms. UHN's medical library and information specialists are physically located on the first floor of the Toronto General Hospital. Information specialists provide access to computers, photocopiers, hard copies from journals, and medical references. They can also assist in searches to answer clinical questions that arise from rounds or elsewhere. The food court is located on the ground floor at both the Toronto General and Toronto Western Hospitals. Occupational Health and Safety is situated on the second floor of the Toronto General and the ninth floor of the Toronto Western Hospital. Should you need to report a needle stick injury, go to the Occupational Health Department. If an injury occurs during off hours, at night, or on the weekend, go to the emergency department and identify yourself as a trainee. All trainees must first register with the Postgraduate Medical Education Office at the University of Toronto at 500 University Avenue. Both new and returning trainees must register at the start of each academic year. See the link for new and returning trainees. There is also a resource booklet for new trainees available at the Postgraduate Medical Education or PGME website. Once your registration with PGME is complete, you can pre-register at UHN by creating an account at umlearns.uhn.ca. Be sure to complete the EPR or Electronic Patient Records training module and test online. It takes about two hours to complete when selecting the appropriate training module for EPR, click on EPR for Providers with Medication Order Entry. After registering at PGME and UHN online, please visit Medical Education in person to complete the registration process. To do this at the Toronto General Hospital, go to the Heli Well Centre, 200 Elizabeth Street, Eaton Wing, Ground Floor, Room 001. For the Toronto Western Hospital, medical education is located at the MedEd Centre at 750 Dundas Street West, 3rd floor. It is closed during the summer. You will need ID when you visit the medical education office. They will accept your University of Toronto badge, health card, driver's license, or passport. Pagers are provided for your UHN rotation only and must be returned at the end of your rotation. Lockers are issued if needed. A scrubs requisition will be provided to arrange for your first set of scrubs to be picked up at the linen department. Subsequent scrubs can be exchanged through the ScrubX machines. After registering in medical education, your UHN ID badge will be issued through security. Security at the Toronto General Hospital can be found at the Eden South Basement Room 426A. At the Toronto Western Hospital, security is located on the first floor fell wing, room 511. If parking is required, medical education will provide you a letter to take to the parking office to arrange parking. 
Value cards require a deposit of $50. This may be subject to change. For additional information, visit the Postgraduate Surgical Education website on the intranet. For now, I look forward to meeting you over the course of your time with us. I hope that this orientation has been helpful to you and we wish you a successful rotation in surgery at UHN.